Hello again, Talking Softball with Sandy Pearsall, head coach of the Cards. I'm Sean Moth. Thank you for watching. The Cards are Big East champs twice over. The regular season crown was captured and then the tournament crown this past week. And it's been a while since we've talked, but uh, let's go to the tournament. You guys went in with the one seed regular season champs. The uh, Big East had not been won regular season and tournament title since Notre Dame did it in 03. You guys had won one previous tournament title, ironically, at Notre Dame in 2007. Your draw starts with a team you didn't see in UConn, and I know that probably make you a little nervous there. You want to get the jitters out, and, and you guys really, you, you take advantage of some of their mistakes, and, and you take care of business in that first game, eight to nothing. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, you're always a little concerned when you haven't faced somebody, and then, you know, also our team, um, making sure that they're taking care of business one game at a time, and, and really this team did a tremendous job in doing that. They didn't look ahead because it would have been easy to really look ahead to a matchup between either DePaul or South Florida at that point. But came out, I thought we uh, did a great job swinging the bats, you know, put the ball in play, hit it hard, great pitch selections we weren't chasing. Um, and it, it just ended up being a great game, and we were able to wrap that up in five innings. And I think your four, five, six, and eight hitters had eight hits and eight RBI. Yeah. I think uh, I think Ruck and Broad, Wolney, uh, Fowler, and Trimble did a really yeah. nice job Wolney of putting took one it. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that balance. We go on to the DePaul rematch, and you know the kids had to be excited about this. It was the Cards, the last undefeated team in the country, that went to Chicago, and the pressure maybe got to the team a little bit, and DePaul was keyed up for that weekend, and. Now it was time for a little revenge. And uh, this time it came down to a Wiley vet in the circle as Tori Collins was outstanding. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the freshmen punched home a big hit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it was, you know, we knew that it was going to be a tough matchup. Um, Kristen Vernon is a very good pitcher, um, great player for them. And, you know, certainly we were, she, we certainly struggled against her the last time. She seemed to have found a way to, to really slow up our yeah. offense. And um, our team was very determined. Uh, to come out there and try to, you know, change that around. And, and th th you know, their whole goal the whole weekend was to win that title. So um, they were going to find a way to win that game. And, and, you know, great hit by Kayla Souls. Yes. Great hit by Kayla Souls. She came up, had a, a bat at bat. I think she went down swinging or looking. Yeah. The bat, uh, what, the, uh, bat before that, she came up and she took advantage of a mistake and just hit the ball very well. Yes. Yeah. These are some these are some advanced freshmen. They're playing like sophomores now. It's kind of that that deep in the season, and that sets up the title game against the host Notre Dame and uh, another team the Cards hadn't seen this year. And uh, yeah. you you know the quality of their team. Uh, the awards banquet came out. Their starting pitcher was pitcher of the year. There was some some talk that there was maybe some uh, inequity there. Certainly, she put up great numbers and, and deserved it. But yep. I think some people thought that maybe Tori Collins deserved some consideration. So a little extra fuel to the fire. National TV doesn't hurt. You guys go down three to nothing. And yeah. uh, you told <laughs> me I think yesterday we were talking in the hallways that not any any time were you ever worried or, or concerned about that because of the kind of team you have. Yeah, I. You know, um, he, I think a lot of coaches would be a little worried because you just don't know at that point what your offense. But I, I really felt like even though, because I watched this first inning come out and we hit the ball hard. Yeah. Um, we hit the ball deep. We hit the ball hard. So I was like, we're, we're okay. We're, you know, we, we, we know what, that we can hit this kid. We're okay right now. And I thought the, we kept putting pressure. And as long as we continue to put pressure on her, continue to hit the ball hard, something was going to fall for us at, at some point. Um, and, you know, when they went up 3-0, I'm like, we're okay. It's early in the game still, a lot of innings to play. We'll just, you know, keep picking and hitting the ball hard and, and something will fall for us. And honestly, the only time I was a little bit nervous, really, to be really honest, was in the top of the seventh. Um, you know, we were in a good part of their lineup. They, they had a little bit of their power there and everything, and I was a little concerned that we had to hold them there. Yeah. Um, and, and we did. And from there on, it was just... You know, keep keep whittling away at it. And yeah. Wow. The what card, a finish. The cards were able to even the game at three, and this is not news to anybody that's watching this because everybody knows what happened. But uh, you get to the eighth inning, and you know Jordan's going up to lead off, and, and earlier in the game she had hit a triple, yep. and so she was swinging the bat really well, and she had I think connected earlier in the week on another extra base hit. So I know you felt good about her going up yeah. there. In your wildest imagination, did you think that first pitch she was going to take her out? No, but you know she's she's done that this year, and and honestly, early that hit she had before the triple, it was right on the fence, yeah. and her first at bat was very deep into left center, so you know she obviously was in a zone this yeah. weekend. I mean, all week long she hit the ball so well yeah. for us, and then uh, 
It was kind of funny. I think at one point she kind of swung at one that she shouldn't have, and she looked at me, and she was laughing because that's kind of what she does. And I'm yep. like, yeah, you know, you know, so let's go at their eyes. Um, and uh, I think she just, you know, she was focused. Yeah. She was totally focused. And it happened so fast. Yeah. Um, and all I know is when it went off the bat, I kept yelling, get out, get out, get out. Yeah. And it just got out, and I was just, you know, I was jumping. Our whole, You could hear that everybody screaming, and it was just... Um, an incredible moment yeah. for us all. Every every person involved, every coach, every everybody that's involved in our team just you know went nuts. Well, and coaching at third too, it's got to be special for you because you get to see her reaction as she rounds first and sees it go out, and the emotion starts to set in. <laughs> she makes the turn at second and sees that her teammates are emptying yeah. out, and you get the chance to She's, greet her there. You know, and her big smile, and you know she was fired up that whole game long. When she hit that triple, she was so fired up. Um, she just yeah, she was. It was a great moment. It's a, yeah. it, you know, that's what you, you know, when you played the game in your lifetime, you, you live for that moment no of question. that, that big home run to win a, a, a big championship yeah. or like basketball, you know, that's hitting the old dream. backyard dream. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, we, we think it in our minds, we play it over yep. and over and she just lived it. Yeah. Sports Center top 10 play for yeah. Jordan Trimble. Her second big home run on national TV. She had that grand slam against USF. So she's got a knack for being on TV. And I guess that's a good thing because when the field was announced, uh, the cards found out that not only were they hosting, but they were one of two sites regionally that will be televised. And so that hasn't discouraged fans because the, the, the seats are all sold out. There's still tickets available out to watch from the berm, but now you host a regional. Valparaiso's yeah. here. You'll play them on Friday, and Kentucky and Michigan have a little rematch, which has a lot of intrigue in that matchup. Yeah. Those two teams you've already seen here in Louisville this year, it's quite a gathering. It's going to be quite a weekend at Elmer Stadium. Yeah, I mean, really exciting. Um, a lot of great softball this weekend. I mean, uh, anybody that's in, in the NCAAs is a quality team, so you know, you know you're going to see great softball. And, I, and true, I'm sure Michigan and Kentucky will be a very interesting game since, you know, Kentucky denied Michigan that super yep. regional last year, and I, I'm sure that sits in Michigan a little bit. Um, you bet. And I think, and you know, Kentucky had was struggling to get in to the NCAA's sure. and had to put on a run at the end, and so they're fired up. I think everybody at this regional is very fired up. I know my team will be very fired up. Um, they have their goal set. They they really want to get to the super regionals, and and from there, hopefully, the College World Series. So, I know our team will be ready to play. Yep. Friday, Saturday, Sunday at Ulmer Stadium. The winner will most likely play in Tuscaloosa. Alabama is the two seed and hosting a regional as well. Of course, if the Crimson Tide fall, then it could fall on one of the teams from the other side that would be hosting a Super. You never know, but we've got to get through the first inning against Valparaiso. A lot of honors went into the week, too. Uh, among them were some all-conference selections. Of course, Jordan Trimble was most outstanding player of the tournament. And yeah. UofLSports.com can give you that laundry list because it's almost too lengthy to mention, but I will throw one out there. The coaching staff of the year, University of Louisville. Congratulations to you and your staff. And I know Thank that you. it's appropriate that it's staff of the year because yes. you're never going to take all the credit. You, you have such great people around you yeah. and Lacey and Courtney and Carol and Lisa that mm -hmm. uh, it really is a collective award. Yeah, you know, um, it's never just the head coach that wins it as far as I'm concerned. It, it takes a staff to win and, and each part of our staff has an expertise and that's what makes us successful. We all take care of what our area that we know best and then we come together and collaborate on everything else and it's an, an incredible staff, um, great people. Uh, hard-working people yeah. and talented people. And I want to thank uh, Sandy's agent for letting me have a little time with her this week because she's in incredibly high demand. So, yeah. Coach, congratulations on a great run and good luck this weekend. Thank you. For Sandy Pearsall, I'm Sean Moth. Can't wait to see you out at Ulmer Stadium and can't wait to talk next week right here on Cards TV.